Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's plan was to go to the Okinawa Zoo. We checked Google Maps. The Japanese site said open, the English site said closed. We hoped that the actual zoo was open and maybe it was just the museum that was closed. But we've come to a different location, which is Neo Park, Okinawa. So that means it was actually closed. So this is not a zoo, so to speak, um, but it does have different animals inside. We're not 100% sure what we're going to see. So we have to pay 900 yen to get inside. We'll go and pay that and see what we can see inside this place. Just past the entrance way, this is what we're faced with. Different insects, plants. And I believe there's a spider here. Oh, look at that. Golden web spider. It looks a lot bigger in person than it does on the camera. We've got some rice fish. We have a tree lizard. There he is up there. Cannot see anything there. Another lizard, there's a couple. Cannot see anything. Fish. Oh look, there's a crab there. And this is the main entrance, so let's go through. We just came outside and I did not expect this. We're actually walking with the birds. I'm not sure exactly what type of birds they are. That's flamingo. But they're not flamingos. Let's see if we can see what they are. From here. Ibis. So let's go and walk closer to the water. My wife will be in her element because she's right next to a flamingo. It's her favourite bird and it's also doing poses. You're a very happy lady Donna. But I thought they would be behind like a wall or a cage or something. You're right here with them. I know. Look at this. Hello. Look at that. So close. This one's having a bath, cooling off. Yeah, so that's a nice surprise. You can see that they are actually sort of not caged in, but they've got a net and around it to stop them from flying off. But you come in through this door and you're right into this. Pretty cool. So we just found that there's some food that you could buy for the birds. It's 200 yen. You're basically getting these. So let's go and see how this goes. I hate birds as well. So unpredictable. Come on. Oh, this one. I dropped it. Look. That's it. Want this one? Oh, it really takes it really softly. Another one? Do you want one? Why? Be careful, he's a little bit more aggressive. We're just walking along this walkway and we're surrounded by birds. You can see. And it's quite cool because they're not bothering us. Big so birds, normally... 
yeah, normally birds can be very unpredictable, but these guys are very calm, just going about their business, and it's actually quite pleasant to be walking around them. We've just come through to the next section, and this is how I expected the whole park to be. So you're surrounded by the birds by some sort of fence or something. So this is what we would expect from here. We've got some ducks, more flamingos, and various other things. Lots and lots of fish. Not sure if you can see them all moving around there. Yeah, you can see it. Over the back are the flamingos. So this is how I expected it to be, that you would not be able to get up close to any of the birds. You can see all the fish here. So many. I don't know if they come here waiting for food. Maybe they know this area, people are going past and people normally throw in some food for them. I'm not really sure, but there's loads. You can see them, they're just, all over each other. But this is a tunnel and you can actually see the fish which is pretty cool and they look pretty big. Look at this guy. Wow he's huge. That's massive. No idea what that is. Well, that's a huge fish. I don't know what it is either. We've got catfish in there, but that one's not a catfish. Look at that. That's unreal. Finished in the second enclosure, and now no nets, so I guess we're finished with the birds. Coming up next, looks like it's the farm and savannah, so I guess that's the African animals. We're now inside the petting zoo. Costs you 300 yen extra to get in here, but at the park entrance you can buy a ticket that combines every area, and that's what we've done. So you can then walk around in amongst the animals and pet them, as the name says. Strangely, the first thing here is dogs. Look at this guy. So we can get right up close to them. And he's a... Uh, hello. Do you want to say hello? No? He doesn't want to be bothered. This guy looks more friendly. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's a nice one. How are you? Hmm? <laughs> We've got another one here having his lunch. Konnichiwa. So, what else do we have? Let's have a look. Donna is in amongst the tiny, tiny dogs. So, oh wow, well he's a big boy, really awesome looking creatures. This one's massive, too far away to pet though, I'm not sure if you can actually, no, you can see some, oh wow look at this. This is, so you can actually open this one and go inside. There's a huge turtle over there. Look at the dog. Sausage dog. So you can go inside here and pet them as well. You can also feed them. Look at the size of this turtle. He's a big boy. Now we can get up close without other people bothering us. Hello. He's huge. Size of his legs. Are you okay? Oh, 
Nice oh, soft underneath. Size of his legs there. We'll leave him in peace. I cannot remember what you call these guys. This guy's cooling down. Hello. You want some attention? Let me know in the comments what you call these guys. I've completely forgot. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so there's food just lying at the side on a table. Maybe we can feed these guys. Donna, there's food there on a table. Do they eat this? Yes, they do. Let's see if they eat this. Sure. Maybe you've got to break it up a little bit, I don't know. They don't seem to be bothered. Oh, look at this guy. He's having a bath. Look at this. Move over. I went in. And that one's going on the other side. No. No, these are birds I just hate. Look at this. Is this an emu? Or an ostrich? I'm not sure. But I'm staying way clear. This guy's poking through for some food. So here we have peccary, which looks like a pig. Looks a little bit like a wild boar, but as per this, it is not a pig or a wild boar. So we're back in with birds again. You can see the net above, and it looks like that last, I can hear noise. Looks like that last bird was an ostrich because here is the emu. Hello. Another horrible looking bird. It's a black swan, is it? Yeah, so more birds in here. And soon we'll be heading off to the bird show. It starts at 2.30. We've got about 20 minutes to get there. We're not really sure how far it is from here, to be honest. So hopefully we make it in time. You can see up here as well, just randomly. And there's a peacock up there. No idea what that bird is there. But again, they're just around us. This time there is a small fence, but that will not stop the birds from moving around. We're now in the next zone, which they call the research center. The really annoying thing is they don't really tell you on any of the cages what the animals are. Look at this guy. He's panting away there. But look at that bird. Crazy. We've got a pond here as well. You can see the... Is that a pelican? But you can see the birds are right on the railing. Oh, look at these. See, this is what they give you. No idea what the birds are called. And I'm no expert, but look at the head on this thing. It's like the beak is the whole top of the head. That's crazy. Ah, I know this one. Good old parrot. Beautiful. There's two of them. Konnichiwa! They don't talk though. So as I said, this is the research area. So 
This could be either animals who are injured and they're in here getting treatment. Wow, look at them. Jesus. They're huge. The size of the bats, Donna. Wow. There, that's the biggest bats I've ever seen. I don't like bats. Very close to Corona. Why is it? Yeah, I've got different birds. Small turtle in the corner. But yeah, these are either injured and getting treatment or they're studying them. Hence why it's called Research Centre. And then outside, more turtles. Look at this guy here just chilling. Hello. Three <laughs> feet. He's having the time of his life. Oh, he's he's up now. I don't think anything in here. This one's empty. Beautiful. Look at the coat. And the tail. <laughs> and monkeys. This is the full view of the research centre. So the first section we went to, then we went inside, then we came back outside where we seen the monkeys. Then you've got this lake area in the centre and on the railing you have these guys. We made it here to the bird show and it's all completely open, no shade at all so trying to protect myself as much as possible, got the towel, got the towel to stop my neck getting burnt, my ears, hats on, mask helps as well actually and then also they gave us this to try and keep ourselves cool but with all this happening not much air is getting through so we're right at the front so we should get a good view of the bird show. We just finished the bird show, now we're about to get on the train, do the tour around the whole park. I think they said it takes around 20 minutes. Not sure if we're just going to see the animals we've already seen or if there's anything extra. I think there's supposed to be some African animals here. We didn't see them walking around the park. So most likely we will see them while on the train.
we just finished on the train. It was quite good. You don't see anything that you can't see walking around, so it's not like you can see any animals that people who don't take the train can't. So it's really up to you if you just want to walk around and do it that way, or you can do both, you can go on the train. You do see it at a different angle. But I think it's not necessary if you don't want that or don't want to spend the money. But we finished off in the souvenir shop, as always. And the last thing you see is a red panda. Really relaxing up there. Chilling out. So that is it for us here at Neo Park. So what do I think about this place? It cost 1,700 as a package. It's a little bit like a low cost budget airline. You can decide to take the base rate, which would be just your admission. And it's 900 yen on its own. You can just walk around the park. You don't have to go on the train and you don't have to go in the pet and zoo. I think the pet and zoo was quite good. I think if you come here with a family, the kids would love it and you would get some great photos with your family and some of the animals up close. Train, not 100% necessary, but if you want to go for the full package, you can just do it. Definitely worth it. If you're only here for three to four days, you must factor that in. It will probably take one day out of your vacation. So probably wouldn't recommend it if you're only here for a short time. But like us, if you're here for a full week, definitely check it out and I think you'll enjoy it. So we're gonna head off now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this place. And until the next video, stay safe and see you again soon.